I find it really sad how the United States seems to continue to want to take the route in the Middle East that we have for decades, where it's all about selling weapons and training people that are the enemy of the enemy, and then watching those people flip sides, and then we have to train and sell weapons to more people who will fight against the enemy who was, who were the people who we trained already. I mean, we basically created ISIS. And now we're fighting against ISIS. And we're trying the same shit again. And Obama is continuing the same patterns. And it's pretty sad. It would be nice if when we do bomb parts of the Middle East, that we were more careful with who we were bombing, and that we were willing to just bomb some of the, let's say, the ISIS camps, when we know where they are, and we know that they're not filled with innocent civilians. But we don't do that. And so many thousands of civilians have been killed with drone attacks. To me, if we can't do a decent job, we should just stay out of the regions. Now, some people have suggested, and I kind of wonder whether it would work, is with some of these countries where it's just completely filled with terrorism, that we should just block anyone who's native to those countries from leaving. It's a rather extreme answer, but I kind of wonder whether it would work. as far as the United States, but especially as far as Europe, this completely open door immigration policy for third world countries, and this open door policies for refugees, I think is really stupid. I think a country has the right to try to preserve its cultural heritage. I'm not talking about race, I'm talking about cultural heritage. There should be some diversity, but you don't open the floodgates and just basically let a completely different culture that's especially ones that are from third world countries that don't know how to live like Western countries, take over. That's stupid. It's incredibly stupid. I think every person that comes into Europe that is from one of the countries that is known to be filled with terrorists or a country that doesn't really do that much to try to stop terrorism every person that comes in should be interrogated especially the refugees who aren't doing anything in the legal side of things to be able to come into the country 
I mean, this sort of thing is especially offensive to those who have worked very hard to be able to move to one of these European countries, have done all the right legal things, and then they still have a hard time just being able to come in. And yet, let's just have an open door policy to Middle Eastern countries, third world Middle Eastern countries. That's bullshit. But I think the people that are coming in from these third world Middle Eastern countries should be interrogated. It should be like Deckard in Blade Runner. These long tests and their eye movements are watched, their body language is watched. And if they fail, they don't get to come into the country. Period. And people can say, well, that's racist. It's not really racism. It's saying, if you are a part of this culture that does not speak against these ideals that are incompatible with Western societies, like Sharia law, then you don't belong in, those, in these countries. Countries have the right to preserve their cultural heritage. Again, a certain amount of diversity is fine. But you don't just open the floodgates. This isn't rainbow bright. Gem is not truly, truly outrageous. This is not my little pony, friendship is magic. This is reality. And countries have the right to their individual things that make them the country that they are.